Hello. So, today I'm hopefully, hopefully, gonna make a start on replacing my windows. Because you might have seen in a previous video, um, they made a plastic, because this was a riot van. Um, which is no good. So, um, I bought some tinted glass windows um, to replace them with. Um, two on either side, one on either side, should I say. Two on the back. And then I've got this weird little window here, um, which is custom cut, unfortunately. So I couldn't find one the same size. So I've got one that's sort of slightly bigger um, that just won't be covering any gap. Um, I bought it from three different companies. So um, I've got the side windows I think from Van Pimps, the rear windows from Van Demons, and then the little small window from somewhere called Just Campers. Um, so it'd be a good opportunity to sort of compare the three, um, see what they offer with the windows, um, see what's included and all that. Um, but yeah, see how it goes, I guess. Right then, so the first ones, these are the side windows I, windows I got from Van Pimps. Um, they were about 285 quid for the two. So that's left and right. Um, and it comes with a free installation kit. Um, the only thing I remember with Van Pimps compared to Van Demons is I think it was about 20 pound postage. They didn't do a free postage option. Um, so you can see inside I'll unpack this properly in a bit. You've got the uh, the windows bubble wrap there. Um, you've got the trim, the internal trim that goes around the um, frame of the window. Um, comes with a bottle of um, sealant for each window. Um, and then it looks like some, I think that's sort of cleaner for the windows. Yeah, here you go, look. You've got the applicator here. Um, ooh. And it comes with instructions, so that's good. Not like I haven't watched about 50 videos to, to work out how to do it, but yeah. So my rear windows um, are from Van Diemen. Um, 170 quid with free postage, unlike um, Van Pimps, um, but also with the free fixing kit um, it seems to be a lot nice the package is a lot nicer obviously they've kept the fixing kit separate so it's not banging around in the box um, and then the actual glass itself seems to be packaged in a lot nicer no chance that's breaking um, and then yeah the fixing kit um, you've got your trim in there um, and then same as before really, you've got your gloves, sealant, primer, primer applicator, and just a cleaner to clean off the glass. Um, but yeah, pretty impressed with the free postage and the packaging seems a little bit better than the um, Van Pimps one. So the last one is from Just Campers, um, and that was, is for the, the weird window that I've got um, behind the sliding door. Um, again, free postage, 95 quid. Um, it didn't come with a fixing kit though. I'm kind of just hoping that I'll have a bit left over from the other four panes that I can use for this. If not, I'll just have to buy them separately. I think they're about 20 quid. But um, again, packed nicely like the um, Van Diemen's one. And also, I think I've seen three Harry Bow as well. So that's a bonus if I've ever seen one. Um, but yeah, those are the three different companies. So, some time has passed. Um, I haven't been very successful getting these windows off. Um, basically, I've tried many things. I bought some cheese wire, did nothing. 
just wasn't strong enough. I tried buying this little tool, which sort of is meant for windscreens, and this little thing wasn't quite long enough um, to reach the scene in the window. So one method that I found has actually worked is heat gun. Um, this won't be relevant to a lot of people because I don't think a lot of people have plastic windows but because mine are plastic I've been melting them from the outside so that's where I've hit the heat gun and then from the other side of the window I've been jamming a putty knife in there and then just slowly going around the window until the sealant's broken so let's get back to it So back home now. Um, got the pain out. Um, so tomorrow, I'm going to go around and take the sealant off just with a um, Stanley knife. Wash it down. Um, then fit the new glass. See you then. Right then, so empty window. Now it's time to take off all this lovely sealant with a knife. So I've got the majority off, it's just a very thin strip. Um, I only cut myself once as well, lucky I've got a little cat blaster. Um, so I'm going to go over it now with this stuff, the pink stuff. It's like this abrasive cleaning paste, just with some hot water and a cloth. Um, and not only will it clean the surface, but it will also help get these, the rest of this, this thin layer I've seen it off um, before I then put the new window on. So it all washed. You can see look where it's taking it properly down. Not a lot of seeing left on there. So now it's crunch time. Um, I'm going to set up the glass panel ready to be fitted. I'll show you in a little bit. I'm so incredibly nervous for some reason. Right, let me talk you through what I've got. So, I position the window on two chairs. 
you might not be able to see it. I bought a suction cup from B&Q, like a fiver. So I've positioned this the way that, so I can just literally pick it up and put it straight on the on the van. So I don't need to like rotate or anything like that. So the tools I've got the blue tape. I'm gonna which I'm gonna use to stick. Just put it on the top of the window once it's in place. I'm gonna grab the window with these just because it's got a bit more grip. Got my sealant. Got my primer. I've got some other gloves. Make sure to wet that primer is impossible to get off. So make sure to wear some, some gloves when you're doing it. The primer applicator. And then a, a, a glass wipe just to make sure everything's nice and clean. Right then. So because I'm an idiot, hey Hazel, um, I either deleted or just forgot to film the next part of the video, probably because I was so nervous. Um, so I'm just going to have to describe it through a series of hand gestures. Um, so once you've got the window out and everything, the, what you want to do is wipe it down with the cleaning wipe that comes in the kit. Um, make sure it's all free of debris and, and dirt and things like that. Um, and then you want to apply the primer. Um, so you want to make sure the bottle's shaking really, really, really well. Um, and then you use the little applicator to do it. Um, I should probably show you on the window. So I applied it first to the van. Um, and then I applied it to the window. Um, you want to make sure you try and get an as consistent line on the window as possible. Um, and the best way to do that is to hold the applicator sort of maybe an inch up, pinch it with your fingers. Um, and then if you hold it up against the side of the window like that, as you're going round, it'll just make sure you um, stay the same distance throughout the whole edge of the window. Something I didn't do on this first one that you'll see. Um, I went a little bit too far in, just freestyled it. Um, then once you've done that, let it dry, it doesn't take very long. Um, you want to apply the adhesive directly to the primer. Um, you'll notice the nozzle that comes with the adhesive has got a V cut out the top of it. Um, you want to make sure the V is facing upwards, because that means when you're applying it, it comes out in a triangular shape, um, which should give you a nice smooth line. I think that's where we got to.
done. So yeah, I've used a bit of blue tape at the top just to keep it in place whilst it's drying. And then some cardboard at the bottom as a sort of spacer. Um, oh, stressful. Um, I'll wait for it to dry tonight. Take off the tape and stuff tomorrow. Um, and do the old important leak test. See you tomorrow. Time to see if this window is waterproof. Good. Do some more rigorous testing in a minute. It's official. I finished all the windows. So I've just got a standard tinted one there. This is the one that I got that was a little bit longer, so the actual gap only goes up to about here. And it's then extends a bit further along. Then I've got the two rear ones here. I got the C cut ones, um, so I might make a little custom little custom emblem to put in there once it's done. Um, and then the one on the right hand side, I've got the the window in the side. Let me show you inside. Here we go. So here's the one with the window. Um, so the final part of the fitting process, you get this nice trim. I say nice, this basic trim. Uh, you literally just cut it to the length that you need, you know, with a knife or some scissors, and then it just fits on the uh, the edge. Um, and then you can see I've got this little window here. Uh, my kitchen's going to go here, so I figured it would be nice to have some extra ventilation. There's the bottom two. There's the little side one. Um, so for these bottom two windows and also the sliding door window, I already had this grey trim on here from from the last windows. And it's actually sealed. It's actually um, sealed on with adhesive, um, and it doesn't look too bad. So I thought I'd just leave it. Um, actually, looks a little bit better than the stuff that comes in the uh, with the fitting kit. Um, but that's it. Hated every part of it, um, and apparently they don't leak. Um, I just attacked them with a watering can and a hose, um, and no water got through just yet. So. Fingers crossed. See you soon.